What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 pickups for the last year with me and my buddy Kyle from Yard Sale Hunters. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for both of our channels. With that being said, let's hop into it. So, the last year has been really good for me and I've been picking up some really great things. So it was really hard to narrow this list down, but with the help of Kyle from Yard Cell Hunter, I think we've come up with a good top five list of our pickups in the last year. So with that being said, we're just gonna roll through it, but it's been a great year, so I'm very excited on what the next year has for me and Kyle as well, because we've both been picking up some really great things and we're just doing really well. So with that being said, we're just gonna roll through this and let you guys know what we've picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go first because this one was a definite pick because of all the cool things that have picked up in the last year. This is one game that I really love and I've just been playing this game so much. I put like 35 to 40 hours into this thing, exploring it, playing all the levels. I just had so much fun and that is Mario Rabbids on the Nintendo Switch. Now a lot of people either didn't play this or they passed on it or this game just doesn't get talked about enough. And that's one thing that I really want to get out there is this game is really fun. Now when I first heard about it with the Rabbids I was a little bit not wanting it or whatever. I kind of was put off by the Rabbids. But when I got into it I played it and had a bunch of fun. Now this hasn't had much of a price drop, but it has dropped a little bit. So if you're looking for a good Switch game for 30 bucks, I definitely think you should pick this one up because Mario Rabbids is one of the best games that I've picked out this year because I've had a lot of fun and everything about it has just been really great. Whether it's the levels, the design of the levels, or how it looks, how it plays, all the wacky characters you get from the Mario and the Rabbids and then when you combine them you get some crazy cool looking characters and I'm really excited about that. I hope to see more coming to this. I've heard rumors of DLC but I don't know for sure but this is a game that if you want to switch you have to have and that's my first pickup. Hey Eric what's going on? Thank you for having me on the channel. Truly an honor. I love your content and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. So, the first game that I immediately thought of when we were uh, brainstorming ideas for this video was Uncharted. Um, I picked this video up, I picked this game up at the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm not super far into it, but from what I've played so far, which is basically about halfway to three-fourths through the first game, uh, it's truly phenomenal. Uh, it's There are games that I've played that are very similar, uh, for example, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Tomb Raider, Just Cause, uh, some of the old Lego games even kind of have specific moments that I can relate to here, but it's just something unique, you know, with the storyline and your missions alongside the characters, and it's just something that, like, you always want to go back to, and again, so far I'm only into the first game, and I still have the third, the second, the third, and I also have the fourth. Uh, upstairs that I ended up picking up with a limited edition PS4 that I bought. So, so far this series has captured me to want to play all four games. Uh, at first I never really had interest because, you know, I'd see this game sitting around at stores in, in piles, you know, and I'm kind of just like, you know, do they overproduce or is this game truly, you know, not something someone wants to pick up? But, the whole story behind this is that I was at school, one of my teachers was talking to a student about PS4 and he kind of brought up Uncharted and he said he enjoyed it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go buy it. So I bought it and wow, this is this is one of the best games I've played of the year so far and uh, obviously one of the best games I've picked up of 2018. So uh, really excited to go into the second, third, and fourth games into this series and uh, just this is highly recommended by me. I, 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 I've never played a better game all year, to be honest, you know, I mean, I've touched upon some of the retro stuff, uh, played a lot of Fortnite, but 
this is this is the best of what I played this year for sure, uh, especially in physical copy. I mean, I, I would have said Fortnite potentially on this list, but you know, I didn't really pick it up this year. Thanks, Kyle. That was definitely a really good game. Now, I played these when they first came out. The Uncharted series, to me, was one of those great games that when it came out, there was nothing really to rival it. I played the first three and just loved it. I haven't played the fourth one yet, but I plan to sometime in the future. But overall, I enjoyed that game so much and had so much fun when it came out on the PS3. I I'm very glad you picked that. Now this next one is gonna be a little weird. I've put two games together, but they were the same pickup, so I figured it would be okay for this list. But this was one thing that was very weird, and most people wouldn't have expected me to find it just because of where I'm located and how bad it is trying to find certain games or certain systems in my area. It gets a little dry, especially when it turns into the winter slash going into the the spring it usually starts to get dry there but then it picks up between the spring and the summertime but with that being said i picked up something so great that i am so thankful for i picked up not only one but two sealed nes games that's pretty awesome now i picked up paperboy and i have picked up metroid now these are both still sealed and as you can tell on the side there is the, let's see if we can get it to look at it. On the side there is still this Target sticker. And yes, I have plastic cases over these, but you can also see that there is the hanger for Metroid. Now Paperboy is a very fun game and so is Metroid. These are both games that I really recommend if you haven't played them, you definitely should. But to find these boxed, especially around me, is hard to find, but I found these both sealed for 50 bucks each. I couldn't pass up. I had to run out and pick them up as fast as I could, and I'm really stoked about that because these are games that I've loved for a very long time, and having them sealed is something weird to me because I don't usually do sealed games because I can't play them. But I already own both of these games, so that's something that kind of makes it okay for me to buy the sealed ones because I don't have to open them and play them. I already own them, so that's really cool. Having these boxed would have been cool, but having them sealed is even better. Moving on to my second title, which is in my pocket, is another retro-themed, but also a PS4 title, is Night Trap. I picked up Night Trap at PAX East. Uh, the whole premise behind this game is it's a 90s uh, Sega CD kind of remake. As you can see from the cover art and the side panel, it's got that Sega CD look to it. Uh, I think there was a lot of controversy over this game back in the day, and um, I, I, I'm not sure if it was pulled, but I, I think some, some places didn't allow it and countries and whatnot, but uh, this is something I paid about $30 for at PAX East, brand new from Limited Run Games. And uh, this is this is something else, you know. This, this is you're not your average PS4 game. This is not your average retro game. You play this, you're experiencing something totally different. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know a little bit about this game. Uh, again, the premise is, you know, you're kind of a bunch of teens having a sleepover and vacation type of thing, and um, it's your job to protect innocent lives. As a member of the special control attack team, the Lake Shore House is crawling with all sort of suspects. And you're in control of eight hidden cameras and a series of traps throughout the house. So it's kind of this goofy 90s comedy uh, type game where these intruders are uh, coming into the house and uh, you're behind the control panel and you gotta keep everybody safe and, and get the, uh, the intruders. And uh, what you're doing primarily is, you know, you're watching the cameras changing the code colors and uh, setting all these traps and it's it's truly funny because it's, it's made to be goofy so uh, these these intruders are coming in the house and uh, they'll run in the living room and like sneak up on you and especially in the bedroom I think they they come into the window and, and they sneak around the bedroom and uh, I think the bed or something launches up and sends them through the floor and <laughs> it's just very comical all this stuff uh, like they're coming down the stairs and you can open a hole in the, the floor and they fall down and there's a whole lot of different mechanisms and 
Uh, it's just funny. I mean, you're not gonna find a comical, a comical game. What is? I don't know the word. Comical? Comical? You're not gonna find a comical game like this uh, that I can think of. So I did had to go. I did have to go with two PS4 titles for this game. This video. Uh, something. Something. Uh, just when I was thinking of my top two favorite games that I picked up in 2018, nothing came to mind more than these two right here. And uh, yeah, I don't really want to keep going on about these because I think I have gone on too long. I, I, I do tend to ramble when I'm talking about stuff I enjoy. Um, but for sure, I mean, if you guys are looking for an adventure game, highly recommend. I loved it. I will continue to love it with three more games in the series. And uh, if you want some nice comedy and uh, you're looking for a, a very unique title, especially this is one that collectors are after as well as gamers. So very, very fun two games right here. So Eric, thank you so much for having me. These are my top two games that I picked up in 2018. Whoa, Kyle, that is really cool. Night Trap by Limited Run Games is something that I think would be cool to have in my collection, but I already have Night Trap for the Sega already. And so I'm not gonna pick that up, but that's really cool that you've got it. And especially for the PS4, uh, it's definitely a fun game. And picking it up on limited runs is always cool. Anytime you can get one of those games, it's definitely awesome. So my final pickup is something in the same vein. It's an NES thing. And it's something that I wasn't looking for at all, but it was one of those things that I was like, if I can find one, I'm definitely going to buy it because that's cool. Now I wasn't out there looking for it or searching the internet or whatever saying, oh I need to find this, I need to buy this right away. But being the NES fan that I am, I definitely saw this and I was like, oh I'm going to have to pick this up right now. And that is the Model 2 NES. So this is the top loader as it's most likely known. However, I didn't get the dog bone, which is, which is kind of a shame, but that's okay. I picked this up and two controllers and the cables, and I want to say actually Metroid for, I want to say like $70. So that was pretty cool. I sold that Metroid off, but having a Model 2 top loader is really cool. Now, it does just have the RF out, which for me is kind of okay. I prefer RCA out of my NESs, but overall I'm pretty happy about this. This is something that I really wanted when I figured out what it was. I heard about it and was like, that's cool, I gotta pick it up. But over time I never did, I, I just had, they're hard to find in my area. But picking it up, it's awesome, I love being able to set it in there and not worry about the board being bent or the pins being bent or anything like that. So that's why this is on the top of my list. Okay, so now that you've checked out all our stuff, go over to Yard Cell Hunter, check them out, check that channel out. It's definitely a rad one if you're looking for pickups. We are working on a separate video over on his channel, so go check that out if you want, if you want to see more of what I've got. It's a pretty cool video, actually. So with that being said, don't forget to comment below in the comments. Tell me and Kyle what you've picked up and if you've picked up anything cool, if you've picked up weird things, rare things, any of that, comment them below and let me know. With that being said, I just want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget about the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Patreon, the Big Cartel. All that stuff is in the link below in the description. Let me know, hit me up on any of those social medias. We can talk, hang out, whatever you want to do. That's pretty cool that you have watched this far. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification on both of our channels and both of these collab videos. But most of all, have a good day.